Hello to pros and welcome back to my IT workshop. This is your boy Alvin Drill. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 from a USB. I have done a video in the past on how to do, uh, how to create the bootable USB. So if, if you're interested in that, you can click on the top right of this screen. So for this video, we are going to use this HP ProDesk 600 G4. Can be any other model, can be Dell, Lenovo, can be a laptop, as long as it's compatible with Windows 11. Okay, so this one has TPM2 installed, and also the processor is uh, Core i5 8th generation, which is the minimum for Intel. So I have done three videos in the past on how to check if you have TPM on your computer and how to enable it, enable it if you have it. So I'm going to leave these videos in the video description below, okay? So, uh, as you can see, this is the USB SanDisk. I'm going to connect to it, and now I'm going to connect the power for this. So we're going to turn it on right now, and now we are going to see all the process. So this is the computer, and now I'm pressing F9 to go to the boot menu. As you can see, HP, and the boot menu is empty. So why is that? The USB is connected, we have seen that. And this is a problem I, I've been having, so I'm going to go back, press an escape, and I'm going to uh, show you again boot menu F9. So it's empty. So what we have to go to do is uh, check some things in the BIOS setup, F10. So you might have this problem, or you might not, but I did on this computer. So we have to go to advance. Your menu, of course, is going to look different depending on your model and brand. And from here, we have to go to Secure boot options. As you can see, legacy support is disabled and secure boot is enabled. It can be the other way around. It's going to work anyway, but there is one thing that we have to make sure that it's enabled. So we go to advance, well, not enabled, selected. So as you can see, it says that the USB, the sand disk, which Windows 11 is in, it has to be the first bootable option. The second one is the uh, the SATA, no, the SSD that this computer has, but you have to make sure that the USB is on the top because for some reason, and you can select it like this, okay? You click on it and you select which one you want because for some reason, when you press F9, boot menu is not going to show anything. Why? I don't know, but that's how you have to set it up, okay? So I'm, go I'm going to... Uh, uh, exit here because I didn't the I didn't check it. I didn't change anything. So here, the computer you don't have to press anything now. The computer is restarting and it's going to boot and it should boot from the USB now. As you can see here, this is the menu, very familiar. Like uh, if you ever if you have ever installed Windows 10, it looks kind of the same. So you click next, install now. And now this takes a few seconds and it's going to ask me for the key. I don't have the key. This computer used to have Windows 10 Pro or it has Windows 10 Pro. So I don't have the key. I'm going to press, I don't I don't have it. And here you select the version. Like I said, this computer had has Windows 10 Pro. So I'm going to select Windows 11 Pro. If you have Windows 10 Home, you have to select Windows 11 Home. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So we go next. You, of course, have to agree, uh, accept the license. Next one, I'm going to select the second option because I want to uh, install Windows 11 from scratch. Okay, so everything is going to be deleted. So these are all the partitions that this computer has, that Windows, Windows 10 has created by default. So we, you have to delete all of them because we don't, need, we don't need them. So as you can see, I'm deleting all of them. Just delete. At the end, I only have one 250 gigabytes SSD. And you select that and you click Next. Here, this process is going to take, it's, it's super, it's kind of short. For me, it took uh, 40 seconds, 50 seconds, less than a minute. And the videos is sped up here, so you don't have to wait all the real time. Okay, but depending on your computer, this might take, I don't know, maybe five minutes. It's it's super, it's a super quick process, right? So after this process has finished, it's going to ask you to reboot the computer. You can do it by yourself by pressing restart now, like I did here. You don't have to wait all the time. And now the computer is going to restart uh, a few, well, I believe only one time. So the videos is sped up here. You don't have to do anything. Oh yeah, it had the computer rebooted twice here. So after that, you can see Windows 11. Look at that logo, dude, looks good. Is this the right, the right country or region, United States? It's fine with me. I click next. And here you have, you can choose the language for your keyboard. US is fine. Uh, I don't need another, I'm going to skip it. Here, I don't have internet connected right now, but if you have it, of course you can agree to that but I don't have it, so I'm going to click continue with limited setup. So over here is going to ask, uh, ask you to create a username. So I'm going to use my name, Alvin Drill, and then you click next. And of course the password, you have to uh, type it twice. 
And now the security, the three security questions. So you can select any one that you want and next. Here you can set up your privacy settings the way you like it and then continue. So this is going to take like uh, two minutes, two minutes and a half. It's maybe this is the longest process. The computer is not going to reboot. It's just, it's, I don't know, installing, updating, uh, setting things up or so. So after that, we are going to be inside Windows 11, almost there. And now we are going to see how Windows 11 looks. So this is how it looks. <laughs> Windows 11, welcome to the new operating system. So as you can see, um, all, the, all the icons on the taskbar are in the middle, are not on the left anymore. So here I'm going to go to the, as you can see, this is the username, Alvin Drill. And then we can go to this PC over here. I'm going to right click on it, properties, and you're going to see a few characteristics of this computer. So you can see the, the name, it's a random name, the processor, the RAM. And if you go down a little, you can see edition Windows 11 Pro and the version is 21H2. So we have kind of the latest as of today. Now I'm going to, ta to open Task Manager and I want to show you the processor. So it's an i5 8th generation, which is the minimum for Intel, okay? So next I'm going to type a, a tpm.mc to see if I have the tpm on the computer. And I'm going to zoom in. As you can see, the tpm is ready to use, so I have it. So the videos I mentioned at the beginning of this video uh, is how to check if you have TPM. So as you can see here, I have two uh, partitions. The one on the right is where Windows 11 is installed. So that's the USB. So here on the C partition, on the C drive, I'm going to right click on it and turn on BitLocker because you can do it. Of course, I'm not going to do it right now because I don't need it. I have shown that in other video, but I just wanted to show you that it it's there. So the other thing we're going to do is WinVer, so we can check what Win Windows version we have. This is, this, is, this is another way to find it out. Windows 11, 21H2, okay? So that's how Windows 11 looks. So in the next video, I'm going to try to install Windows 11 from using a USB on a computer from 2014, if I remember correctly. So that by far is not compatible with the new specifications for Windows 11, okay? So maybe you want to watch one of these videos now. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any other comment or questions, leave it in the comment section below. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.